Types of Advanced Oxidation Processes for Wastewater Treatment Types of Advanced Oxidation Processes for Wastewater Treatment OPS are capable of achieving high degrees of pollutant removal, selectively attacking target compounds, and operating under a wide range of conditions. There are various types of advanced oxidation. Processes that have been developed for wastewater treatment, each with its unique set of advantages and disadvantages. Photocatalysis Photocatalysis is an op that uses a photocatalyst to activate molecules in wastewater, producing highly reactive hydroxyl radicals. The photocatalyst absorbs light energy and generates electron hole. Pairs, which react with oxygen molecules to produce hydroxyl radicals. These radicals can then oxidize the target pollutants in the wastewater. The most common photocatalyst used in wastewater treatment is titanium dioxide, TO2, due to its chemical stability and high photocatalytic activity. Other materials such as zinc oxide, tungsten oxide, E, iron oxide are also used as photocatalysts. Photocatalysis has several advantages, including high efficiency in degrading pollutants, low energy consumption and no requirement of external chemicals. Ozonation Ozonation is an op that utilizes ozone, O3, a strong oxidizing agent, to degrade and remove pollutants from wastewater. In ozonation, ozone is mixed with wastewater, and the ozone molecules react W. If the target pollutants Ozone is more reactive and selective than other oxidizing agents such as chlorine, and it can effectively remove a broad range of pollutants, including organic compounds, pesticides, and cyanide. Ozo Nation also has the added advantage of disinfecting the wastewater, killing bacteria and viruses. However, ozonation requires a higher initial investment and operating cost compared to conventional wastewater treatment methods. It also produces byproducts that may be harmful to the environment I. F not properly treated. Therefore, ozonation may not be the best option for smaller wastewater treatment plants. Fenton process The Fenton process, named after its developer, was first used in the early 1900s. It is an op that utilizes iron, Fe2+, and hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, to produce highly reactive hydroxyl radicals, We. CH can oxidize and degrade pollutants in wastewater. In this process, ferrous ions react with hydrogen peroxide to produce hydroxyl radicals and ferric ions. The Fenton process has several advantages, including high efficiency in degrading pollutants, low energy consumption, and low operational costs. The main disadvantage of the Fenton process is the production of sludge, which requires proper disposal. Moreover, the process is sensitive to pH changes and the concentration of iron and hydrogen P. Eroxide must be carefully controlled to ensure optimum performance. Electrochemical oxidation Electrochemical oxidation is an op that uses an electrolytic cell to oxidize and degrade pollutants in wastewater. The process involves passing an electric current through the wastewater, creating H. Highly reactive hydroxyl radicals through the electrochemical reaction between anode and cathode. The hydroxyl radicals can then attack and oxidize the target pollutants. The electrolytic cell can be operated under different conditions to optimize performance. For example, the pH, current density, 
electrode material, and electrolyte composition can be adjusted for OPT. Immune performance The process is also scalable, and can be used for both small and large-scale wastewater treatment. However, electrochemical oxidation requires a significant initial investment in equipment and infrastructure. It also requires a high degree of technical expertise to operate and maintain the system. In addition to the advanced oxidation processes mentioned in this article, there are also other types of ops that are being explored for wastewater treatment. These include sonochemical oxidation P. plasma-based oxidation, and microwave-assisted oxidation, among others. Plasma-based oxidation utilizes plasma, a gas composed of highly charged particles, to generate reactive species that can treat contaminants in wastewater. Microwave-assisted oxidation uses microwave energy to generate heat in the wastewater, which can accelerate the chemical reactions that degrade pollutants. While these ops show promising results, they are still in the early stages of development, and more research is needed to optimize their performance and reduce their costs. Furthermore, it is important to note that advanced oxidation processes can also be used as a pre-treatment step for other wastewater treatment processes such as biological treatment. By removing the More recalcitrant and complex pollutants through OPS, the performance of biological treatment processes can be improved as the remaining pollutants are more easily biodegradable. In addition, the use of advanced oxidation processes can also lead to the recovery of valuable resources from wastewater. For example, the Fenton process can produce iron sludge, which can be further. Process to recover iron, a valuable metal. Similarly, electrochemical oxidation can produce hydrogen gas, an important energy source. Aside from their use in wastewater treatment, advanced oxidation processes also have potential applications in other areas such as air treatment, soil remediation, and even in the food industry. 4. Example Photocatalysis can be used to degrade contaminants in air, while the Fenton process can be applied in soil remediation. It is important for continued research and innovation in advanced oxidation processes to unlock their full potential and meet the increasing demands for clean water and a sustainable environment. For example, the combination of ozonation and biological treatment has been shown to effectively remove organic contaminants from wastewater. Another example of a hybrid treatment process is the use of photocatalysis and membrane filtration. In this process, the photocatalyst is immobilized onto the surface of the membrane and the wastewater. Tear is passed through the membrane. The combination of photocatalysis and membrane filtration can effectively remove both organic and inorganic pollutants, as well as bacteria and viruses. Furthermore, research is currently underway to develop advanced oxidation processes that can operate under ambient conditions, without the need for external energy sources. One such process is the U.S. E of sunlight to activate the photocatalyst, thus eliminating the need for artificial light sources. This would significantly reduce the energy consumption of photocatalysis and make it a more sustain. Naval option for wastewater treatment By doing so, they can ensure that the treated wastewater meets not only local regulatory standards but also international guidelines such as those set by the World Health Organization, WHO. Only through the combination of different treatment methods can we ensure that the treated wastewater meets the required standards. Therefore, wastewater treatment should never be seen as a one-size 
fits all approach, and different techniques should be chosen based on the specific characteristics of each wastewater stream. Furthermore, it is essential to develop and implement appropriate monitoring and control systems to ensure efficient and effective wastewater treatment. Robust monitoring and control systems can help to prevent operational issues, optimize treatment performance, and ensure that the treated wastewater meets regulatory standards. In addition, these CIS TEMS can provide valuable data for process optimization and continuous improvement. Thank for watching.